What's up guys, Tell Nick here, and welcome back to another Splatoon 3 episode. Today we have a really big update, which is version 3.0.0. Now this is a brand new season, being the fresh season, as uh, last season I think was called the chill season, um, which introduces a lot of new stuff. Um, I already went through the newscast because... I was not expecting this. Um, I don't even think they gave us a release date, so that's why I was like, kind of like, I don't know, just like surprised that they released this. Cause not only did they release a bunch of uh, new weapons, new gear, um, and new maps, they also released the DLC, which is Wave One, which is um, Inkopolis of um, Splatoon One. So a lot of stuff, um, a lot more than they did release uh, last season, which was just a new map and new weapons. We got the DLC and even more. Um, although we have no new main weapons like um, that are like special like we had with the uh, Big Swig and the um, Splat Rider or whatever it was called and the uh, Splashshot Nova, we have new special weapons now. Um, as you can see, we have the Kraken Royale, which is literally the Kraken from Splatoon 1, which I th think no one saw coming that the Kraken was going to return, especially as like DLC. And then we have this other new special called the Super Chump. Yeah, the Super Chump, which um, is apparently some like decoy weapon that you shoot out where it's like a bunch of these uh, decoy bombs that are super jump spots that uh, your enemy can be um surprised by and then they just uh, blow up but you can't shoot them down apparently i don't really know how it works and i haven't really seen it in action much um they also did change up the kraken royale bit where the kraken royale um you have to uh hit the enemy twice in order to um kill them as well as you can use a charge shot which can shoot once and also it's a bigger target and um it lasts for a little bit longer i think um, so they really brought back the squat, uh, the crack on splat roller from Splatoon One, bringing the squid beacon and the kraken back, which was literally its exact kit in Splatoon One, which I guess makes sense since the DLC is literally Splatoon One in Gopolis. Um We got the uh, ZNF splat charger, which is uh, fire fin. Um, we got the rapid blaster deco, uh, the NZAP eighty nine. Yeah, I, I didn't buy the splatter scope. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the Neo Splushomatic. The uh, ZNF Splatter Scope, the Tristosher Nova, or Nuevo, however you spell it, uh, L3 Nozzle Nose D, the Custom Jet Sculpture, and the Neo splash matic and the .96 Gal Deco. Um, also, I didn't buy the Bamboozler, because <laughs> that weapon sucks, uh, and then the Clash Blaster Neo. So, a lot of new weapons here. Also, didn't buy this one either. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy the ones. I don't have enough Sheldon's license, which kind of sucks, but I am going to buy the ones that have the um, new special, being the Crack on Roller and the uh, Super Chump. Um, I also want to buy, what's it called? I feel like the new uh, tri Slasher is already better than the original, because the original kind of sucked. It had um, Inkjet and um, Toxic Mist, so Fizzy Bomb one of the best subs and tactical isn't that bad so definitely a better kit than the original um ju custom jet sculpture it it's not that good honestly it toxic miss and ink storm isn't really that good i mean ink storm i guess a little bit i kind of understand where they're going with it where it's like custom jet sculpture is supposed to be like a support weapon and then ink storms also support so then support support equals kill kind of thing i guess i don't know um also neo splash matic is so stupid it's literally the same weapon as the, the uh, what's it called, the Spire Shot, um, what's it called? I was going to say Wasabi, but it's actually um, Tenetech. Uh, literally the same exact weapon, so really stupid there. Um, I do want to get the uh, Clash Blaster here, because I am a big fan of Clash Blaster. Um, and... I don't know, the Rapid Blaster is kind of interesting as well. Um, I'm definitely gonna, yeah, I guess I'll get 96 gal, because that one has the Kraken. It's also kind of stupid. Only three weapons have the new special. You only have, uh, or four. Two of them have the, uh, Kraken, and two of them have Super Chump. 
which I, I really I really don't know what Splatoon's doing. Um, there's also a big run uh, event, which I'll also show off uh, later on, which is on Feb uh, what's it called? Not February, already past February. Um, it's on Friday, and I'll probably post that as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm wasting my time here for. I will guess I'll buy Neo Splash because that looks kind of like an interesting kit. Um, never really been a fan of L3, so fuck that. Uh, what else? Yeah, this is an interesting kit. I want to test that out. And I think that might be it for right now. Um, so the other big thing, as you can see, we got the train station. And this brings us to Inkopolis. I actually haven't checked this out yet, and I don't really know what's so special about this DLC, other than it being Inkopolis from Splatoon 1. But, uh, we'll see. Okay, they even got, like, the, the cutscene, like, they had in, um, the, uh, trailer. Which is kind of cool. There's Cali Marie, that's cool. Here we are. This isn't Splatoon 3, this is Splatoon 1. Welcome to Inkopolis. This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Most Inklings and Oklings are obsessed with the hottest sport in Inkopolis, ink battles. That crazy tall building is Inkopolis Tower, the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of the Inkopolis Tower for online battles. This is the Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your Inkling and Ockling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But the shop are pretty exclusive and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. Okay. Uh, looking for part-time work? Not particular about employee reputation? Brisco is for you. Okay. If you want to visit another city, you can hit up the train station here. But also, don't miss the shoal. It's a place to splat and be splat in Inkopolis. Local Inklings and Oklings meet here with friends of co-op and competitive local play. You might want- wait, co-op? Are they- did they bring back the what's it called from Splatoon 1? The, um, split screen? But even though it wasn't split screen, it was like gamepad and then- I wonder if they actually did that. You might want to steer clear of the bat alley, it smells a little fishy. That's it for the tour. Whether you're here, uh, hoping- Hopping right into battle, working, I can't read, um, working at Grisco or even just vibing. Enjoy Inkopolis. Thank you, narrator. He has every disease. Honestly, that's fresh. Um, he, he looks like a chicken nugget. Not gonna lie, he looks like a chicken nugget. Also, what the hell is this? Hotlantis? Hotlantis? Hot is this, what's it called? The rhythm game? What the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> they really just reskin Splatoon 3 with Splatoon 1. Is that what I'm seeing here? That's all that's all it seems. That's literally all they did. They just reskin I don't even care here you say Fred Chumps or whatever the hell it, That's literally all they did. Cuz that shop is the same exact one that I have in Splatoon 3. Um, whatever it's called. I guess it's still called. Is it still called Inkopolis or no? There's the amiibo function. I mean, it's like, I like what they did. Oh, Splatsville. Okay. I like what they did, but it's like. Like for nostalgia, I guess. But it's like. What's really exclusive about this DLC other than just. It's just. Is there actually co op? <laughs> like, I'm. I don't see anything that's like, okay, they brought table turf battle, which is actually kind of interesting. Or is that only for, can I do that with people? No, you, I guess you have to, can I do that online now? I didn't really say that, but I I guess I'll check now. So, okay. I'm a little disappointed in this, honestly. Are they gonna wave to me at least? Please wave to me. I'm your biggest fan, please. Wow, they don't even wave to you anymore. That's disappointing. 
Back in the day. Back back in the day of Splatoon 1. They used to wave at you. Also, what the hell is this? They blocked up the single player thing? Oh my god. Hopefully I can access Miiverse though. What? What do you even say? You cannot post drawings or social media because either you're not connected. What? I'm pretty sure I'm connected to the internet. So I, I guess this is, that's just a way of them saying me versus shut down. Thanks, th thanks Splatoon. Thanks. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed. This just brings me to what? Nothing special. It's just the the Splatoon three lobby. It's just a split. Man. <laughs> okay, that's why I couldn't, cause multiplayer maps updated. I couldn't uh post a me verse. I guess. <sighs> that's. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, and it kicked me out for some reason. Thanks. Also, I'm now in S rank again. I have to climb back up to S plus again, which is kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, I get some good here. Nope. I just get some blue stuff. Yeah, but that's that's not okay. What's what's here? What do I get here? Okay, I got some DLC rewards. Oh, okay, they got the Cali Marie banner, which is not bad. That's cool. I, I like that, but it's like. <laughs> I hope to make up for it for wave two, cause wait, this is this is disappointing. This is very disappointing. Like all this, I didn't have to pay for. Um, all right, let's try out the um, chump, whatever it's called, super chump. Um, very interesting uh, weapon, but uh, yeah. And we're gonna see the new uh, stage as well. Um, so there's actually two new stages. Uh, one being a uh, completely brand new stage. It's like this, uh, not Western. What am I thinking of? Um, it's like this, yeah, Egyptian type of level. Where it's like all sand. It's a very small map, uh, similar to my my resort. Um, it looks pretty interesting. I haven't really uh, like, seen gameplay of it. Oh, here, but now we are. Um, but it does look very interesting, and um, a lot of crack on that. Was that all crack guns? I think that was all crack guns, and then there's me. Oh, there's a disconnect. Great, I love Splatoon 3. Anyway, um, ready for the map match to end? Give it like another five seconds. Five? Oh, not even five seconds. Great, I love Splatoon 3. Anyway, um, that's the new map, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> this is actually so stupid. What the hell? Ah, uh, gotta love Splatoon 3. Anyway, hopefully this time we actually are able to show off the new map and um, actually understand what the hell this uh, special does. Alright, let's we'll see if I can pull it off here. So, interesting. Okay, so it shoots a bunch of decoys. There I am, Nick, 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 and Nick. Okay, I couldn't see what happens but maybe we will in this battle anyway as i was saying though i'm kind of disappointed the new weapons only four of them have the new special two of them having the one two of them having the other um one weapon is completely stupid being the neo splash matic this isn't the new stage god damn it uh, one of them being um uh What's it called? Being a complete waste of a slot, being the Neo Splash Matic, or Splash Matic, where it's literally just the Tenant Tech Splatter Shot. So there's really no point of having it. Um, but, uh, what's it called? Um, the, um, uh, <laughs> I feel like that weapon's so obnoxious. Uh, but the, um, uh, and then like the, the other new weapons are okay. But it's it's really the weapon kits aren't that good. Like custom splat uh, jet sculpture. Like why can't we get a good jet sculpture um, kit? Like honestly, and like <laughs> I don't know. I just and then wave one of the DLC doesn't really look that. It's not really anything that's like good. 
Also, I feel like this weapon, the super chump, really doesn't do much. Like, how are you gonna be? How are you gonna be juked out? Look at all these super jumps. Like, there's no way you're gonna be. <laughs> Some that special so bad. Like, how are you gonna get tricked by all these stupid uh, super jump spots when there's like eight of them? Like, there you don't have eight people jumping to you. There's only four people on the team, and only three people can jump. Like, what the hell? You're not gonna get tricked by it. <laughs> this it's so bad. Oh, um, oh god. How did I not? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so stupid. Like Splatoon, please. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I guess it, it does ink like a good amount of turf, but like. For what? <laughs> like, Terra Force and that's it? Like, you're not gonna get much map control out of it. I don't know. Anyway, I, I think it might be the worst special, cause it's like... Again, you're not gonna get tricked by it. You're not gonna get tricked by this. You're literally shooting off. Look at all those super jump spots! You're not gonna get tricked by that! You're just not! And you can shoot them down, and it's like... <laughs> You're not gonna die from it. They don't really like go off unless and have like that big of like a um, a splash radius, and I don't think they're like a one shot kill. So it's like definitely the worst special in the game, I think, by far. Like it's just it it's it's not useful. I mean, I got the assists off of there, but I think I don't think that was me actually. That wasn't uh, the super chomp or whatever. I think that was from the auto bomb. Oh wow. Okay. No, I, I get that one actually. But yeah, and then Inkopolis. It's literally just a reskin of Splatoon 3. There's nothing special about it. Just Inkopolis instead of Splatsville. Like, the expansion pass was $25. And Wave 1 was just. Inkopolis. It's just a reskin of Splatoon 3's shop. You get nothing special out of it. Like, the, the, the shops are the same. Oh, wait, I meant to... Let me cancel that. I want to change my weapon real quick. I don't know. I'm, disapp I'm really disappointed. Hopefully I can show off the new stage at least. Hopefully that will make my day. But... <laughs> This is this is this is stupid. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. This is this is really stupid. They could have done a lot with Inkopolis, and I feel like they could have like added like you know special shops that have like special Splatoon One gear, or have special Splatoon One weapons. I mean, I, I didn't check the weapon shop, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Uh, maybe I'll check out after this, but. Yeah, here we are on the new map, at least. Um, but yeah. I mean, I did see like, a YouTube video where it's like, this might be the death of Splatoon. And honestly, I, I can see it. Also, wait. Maybe... Okay, I'm going to check a few other things, too. Because I think they did add um, new Salmon Run stuff. Because like, in the update and everything, they showed like uh, how the uh, there's like something called extra work. Unless that's going to come with a big run on Friday. But um, there's something called extra work, which adds five waves instead of uh, the typical, what's it called? Um, instead of, um, oh, I forgot that it's also different for the Kraken. But um, they have five waves instead of three. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. But yeah. this, okay, I do like this map though. This map is cool. I like the center point, and then they can jump up to or even swim up to. Okay, I got him. That's. No, I thought you real. I thought that was uh, what's it called, tri slasher, but that's a regular slasher. Okay. But yeah, I didn't see the patch notes though, but I heard crab was nerfed at least. I think. So that's also kind of good. Oh. Uh, Watch out for these ink strikes, goddamn.
But yeah, I, my, uh, what's it called? Crack on Splat Roller used to actually be my main back in Splatoon 1, if you guys remember my old videos or not, but... Uh, did I die from a... That was a suction bomb, damn. Um, but yeah, I used to main it. Uh, I remember the kit, like, at the back of my hand. That's why I, like, knew the kit right when I saw it. But, um, yeah, it's a good kit. Um, it's just a shame that Splat Roller isn't as good as it used to be day one of Splatoon where in Splatoon 1 it was broken like the first day or like not day one but like what's it called um also Kraken was broken too which made it even more of a menace Nice. Very good. Yeah, I like this map. That's the only thing that's good out of this update, is this map. Um, but yeah, also, I forgot to mention, goddamn. Uh, they added uh, Monta Maria back, which was a stage in uh, Splatoon 2, if you guys remember, which is the ship stage. Um, I don't think they really changed much out of it, but um, it's back. So, there's that. But, um, yeah. Also, I think we lost to the last second there. That's just how Turf War be, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think also they did add Table Turf for local play. I don't know why it's not for online play. But um, I think that was added in uh, 3.0 here as well. But I'm going to check Grisco as well. See if they added those other stuff that they showed in the trailer. And... Um, yeah, I think after that, I might call it a day. Call it a video, whatever. I'll still level up. Very right, cool. <laughs> but I'm... I'm kind of disappointed. It feels rushed. It really does, because it's like... Like, I, I, the trailer, what, came out a month ago? Not even? Very right, cool. I got Cabin Lovin... Ca cabin Lovin... Cabin Lovin Engineer, or whatever. All right, let's see weapons. Yep, it, I kind of thought it. Yeah, I know how this stuff works. Why are you telling me? Oh my god. Great. <laughs> it's just, it's literally, nothing's changed. It's just skin. It's just skin. All right, let's see if Grisco's got anything. Maybe he improved his business. Let's see what we got here. Goodness, I almost forgot to mention that we've got some new items and take a look, won't you? Okay. So yeah, that's uh, the original from Splatoon 2, which is nice. Okay. Also Splatoon 2 stuff. Uh, okay. So some new stuff there. Where? Okay. I like to speak to the manager. Grisco, what the hell's going on here? You said that there's gonna be extra work or extra wave. I, I sure hope there is going to be it when, when Big Run comes around, because you literally showed it in the trailer. Where is it? Do I have to do something else? Like I'm I'm actually like kinda pissed. I, I, I really I don't know what's happening. I really don't. All I got is freelance and private job. And I'm pretty high up there. I'm executive VP. Which I think is the highest rank. Or second highest rank. So I, sh I it's like it's not a rank issue where it's or skill issue as most people say. But um, it's not a rank issue where it's like oh you have to be a certain rank to do extra work or whatever. To get those like five waves or the extra waves or whatever. It's, it's just not here. It's not here. Yeah, I'm pissed. Um, <laughs> this is really... I, I don't know what to say anymore. Um, I'm guessing the spike is just... Like, what's it called? Let's see. Can I do tabletop online? Nope. I don't think so. Unless I'm missing it in the lobby, because, like, 
I, I don't. I don't understand. I really don't. Like, this is kind of a big update where it's like, again, new weapons, new map, uh, Wave 1 DLC. Let me just see. So sure, like, we got Spike back. This is the same stuff. It's, it's, it's not anything different. I go to a train station. And I go to Splatsville. And I talk to the other Spike, or whatever the hell his name is. I don't really know. I don't really talk to him, I'm gonna be honest with you. But my boy right here. Right by the lobby. What's his name again? Merch, that's right. Same stuff. Doesn't matter if you have the DLC or not. Like, I, I kind of get it. It's a multiplayer game where it's like they don't want you to feel left out, I guess. Or to have, like, these, like, overpowered weapons, like, behind a pay barrier, I guess. Or a paywall. But it's like, for the people that do pay for it, like, what are they really getting? What are you really getting out of this? All you're getting is just a skin. Or $25. Like, Wave 2 looks really good. I, I'm, I'm going to admit, and hopefully that makes up for this. Because this is not worth $25. But Wave 2 does look promising. I'm going to be honest with you, Wave 2 does look promising, you know, with shows Marina and Pearl and, like, all this other stuff. While Callie and Marie are right there and they don't even notice you anymore. They don't, they don't, even, they don't even wave you high. They're, they just sit there. Usually they wave high after like 10 seconds and watch them. They're not going to wave high at me. They don't even acknowledge me. What the hell is this? I'm going to boot up my Wii U just so that they would. Oh, okay. Thank you. They don't wave at me, but you know, at least they do that. All right. I appreciate that. <sighs> but yeah. Um, so that was... Uh, interesting that's for sure that, that, that's that's a word for it but um that is splatoon 3 3 point oh um again my thoughts are all over the place honestly with this but um yeah it's i don't think i don't think the dlc is worth it right now wave two maybe uh but right now, it's it's not worth it. And the other stuff that they added isn't too bad. Like, the new weapons are alright. Super Chump looks like it might be the worst special. It's not. It's not good. But, uh, new stage looks good, at least. That, that's something. Also, I, I still don't know what happened with Grisco, but... We'll figure that out eventually, I guess. Hopefully for Big Run. I'll be posting that later. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, though, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for Splatoon 3 Big Run, as well as other things Splatoon 3, and maybe other videos, too. Who knows? Um, but yeah, stay tuned right here on Tone Nick. Bye.